Samantha Linda. I own Belinda Lee Designs, an embroidery and sewing studio in Raleigh, North Carolina. Welcome to the first video in my series of turning special items into something else. Today we'll be turning our special item into a gallery wrapped canvas artwork. I bet you've got a special item hidden away somewhere. That old cross stitch you did in college, or your first 5k finisher t-shirt. This symbol of your great accomplishment is just begging to be put on display. So get it out and let's turn it into the special piece of art it was meant to be. The first thing you need to do is determine what canvas size you need. Today I'll be working with this dress form design collection and I'm going to wrap this large design which I know is sized for an 11 by 14 canvas. I recommend you bring your art with you to the store and you're going to lay it over a few canvas sizes so that you can figure out what's the best look for your art. Your local craft store is a great source for canvases. I picked this one up at my Michaels using a 40% off coupon. You'll also need a few other supplies. Fusible web like Wonder Under that comes on this paperback and also usable fleece. Both need to be cut to the same size as your artwork, not the size of your canvas. And you'll be able to purchase these in the sewing section of your local Walmart or most sewing stores. You'll also need a staple gun, and an iron. So you want to start by positioning your art on the top of your canvas, finding out how it's going to best lay out, and ensuring that it will wrap to the back side. And then you can go ahead and trim it. You want to make sure that you leave enough room to wrap it to the back side of the canvas. It's very important. Then you're going to place your one you're under, rough side facing down. And we're going to match this up and put it onto the wrong side. And then following the manufacturer's directions, which will come on a little piece like this, that is generally wrapped around the bolt that you'll get the fusible off of. So make sure you ask for a piece of the direction. And it's going to tell you to fuse it with a damp press cloth. And then you want to set your iron on the wool setting and you just want to fuse it and you want to make sure that you get all the corners and you also want to make sure you use good pressure and ideally when you've covered it enough and gotten it um, adhered enough your press cloth will actually be dry. Then you'll give it some time to cool, and when you feel like it's cool enough, you'll go ahead and just pull that release material right off the back. Now we're going to work with our fusible fleece. You want to lay this over your canvas and make sure that it's kind of centered and you want a good amount hanging over those edges. It doesn't have to be perfect because this isn't going to be seen when you're done. So then again, the fusible fleece, when you buy it in the store, it will be coming on a bolt like this and they'll cut it off for you at the store. Make sure you again ask them to give you the directions and you'll want to follow the manufacturer's directions on here on how to get it to adhere. So what they recommend is for a strong bond, you're going to cover the fleece and fabric with a damp press cloth and then with the iron on the wool seam setting, you're going to iron and press for 10 to 15 seconds and you're going to overlap. Now we just want to make sure that we get this tacked down to the front of the canvas so it's not bumpy and rumply under, under our piece of art. So, we're not going to work on the sides, we're just going to work on this top part of the canvas. I also like to provide um, something to go under here because as you can see, there's nothing supporting here. So I like to take a tailor's ham, or you could use a book, 
and just give it something hard to press on when we're ironing. And we'll just give this a minute to cool. Okay. Next you want to clip these corners. What this does is it reduces the bulk when we start to actually do the wrapping. And we want to clip it before we adhere our artwork here so that it doesn't accidentally get attached to the artwork and then it's not impossible to peel off after that point, but it's definitely much less desirable. So we're just going to cut a nice triangle off of each corner. And you'll see my fuse didn't come 100%, so I'm just going to throw a hot iron on there. Now you're going to carefully position your art over the fleece, centering it as desired. I like to kind of fold and give it a look and say, okay, how does that look? I think that's a little high on there. And then once you have it the way that you like it, you're going to fuse the art to the fleece. And again, you're going to use that Taylor's hammer, the book, to make sure that you're using it a nice surface to fuse with. Again, following those manufacturer's instructions, we can use a damp press cloth to tell when we've made our fuse. Okay, what you want to do next is actually trim some of this fusible so there's a little less bulk. So I like to trim it up so that it comes up and wraps to the edge, but it doesn't come all the way over. So I'll just hold it here a little bit on an angle. Now what you're going to do is pull each of these corners up and fuse them to the back of the wood. You want to make sure you're pulling them nice and snug. And you can trim these corners where they come in over the edges of the canvas. Then what you want to do is you want to actually clip along this edge here, but you don't want to clip into the corner. So what I like to do is I like to put my finger on there. This is a kind of visual reminder to stop sniffing. And now what you want to do is we're going to fold these up under. Let me see if I can show you like this to make a really nice, neat tuck into the corner. So it's not quite like that. Okay, so once you get that nice, neat tuck, you can let your chin clip it down. You're gonna to wanna to repeat that on every corner just be super careful not to get your finger. So now you can actually trim the corners where they overlap in the middle if you like, but you don't have to. I kind of like to leave trimming to the end. So what you do here is you just continue your fusing along the edges, pulling nice and tight. Okay, so now what I like to do is to do a trim around the edges here. Just kind of using the boards as a guide. the time to just give it one last go around. And your last step is to grab your staple gun and just hit those corners.
And my sample gun works best if I keep it on a flat surface, so don't hang it over the middle of your canvas like this. That's it, you did it! All right, next time we'll be turning something special into some framed artwork. Make sure you subscribe here or on my blog so you don't miss the next video. And if you like this dress form design, you can find it in my shop, which you'll find the links for that below. See you soon! I'll bet you've got a special item hidden away somewhere. A cross stitch that you did in college. Okay, next time we'll be into a gallery wrapped canvas artwork.